Superman lost his sidekick Thunder Boy in a timeline where most of the world's heroes were killed in a nuclear disaster. The Kingdom Come universe, a young multiversal traveler named David crash landed on the Earth Zero. So Superman and Batman took the young boy under their wings and David became Superman's sidekick Thunder Boy. Superman taught him many things to control his anger and use it to help people. They became a great duo, but David's destiny pulled him away and he arrived into the Kingdom Come reality, where in the future, David is destined to become Magog, who will kill Joker and lead an army of violent vigilantes to rule the world. So with the help of Flash and his cosmic treadmill, Superman and Batman arrive to Earth-22, the Kingdom Come reality. And while looking for David, the duo see a glimpse of image, countless dates and graveyards of this world's heroes. So to find the truth, they start exploring this earth and they eventually find David, who now known as Thunderman. He almost kills the villain, but Superman stops him. David quickly recognizes him. He looks happy to reunite with his mentor. But suddenly, David attacks him, blames Superman for abandoning him in this reality. On top of that, the Kingdom Come Superman and Batman also show up. But instead of helping their counterparts, they start attacking them. Superman struggles to keep up with his older self, so he takes Batman and escapes the battlefield. So while the duo are thinking why David is doing this, they see David and every heroes of this reality are being manipulated by Gog, a member of beings known as the Gods. For some reasons, a huge huge battle broke out between the gods. Gog was the only one who tried to stop them, but the other gods cast out Gog into the deep space. The war eventually destroyed all the gods and they were welcomed into the heaven for their mighty battle. Gog also wants to enter into heaven, so he plans to get it by dying in a battle against Darkseid. He manipulates every superheroes of Kingdom Come reality to wage a war against Darkseid. But Gog has the anti-life equation which Darkseid needs to control every living being's free will. So Earth Zero's Superman and Batman convince their kingdom counterpart that they are telling the truth. David is manipulating and he is working with Gog to destroy Darkseid. So with the kingdom duo, the two heroes manage to defeat Gog. On the other side, Batman convinces David that his mentor Superman isn't lying. He never abandoned him and there is still time to do good and become a hero again. But right at the time, Darkseid enters into this reality to get the anti-life equation from Gog. And there is no possible way that Darkseid can lose this fight. So the two Superman immediately tells the heroes to run and Batman wants David to run as well. Their main goal is to keep Darkseid away from Gog's anti-life equation. The two Supermen charge at Darkseid to take him down. But one Omega Beam strike takes out the two men of steel and Darkseid walks over their fallen bodies. The Flash jumps in to buy the heroes some time but Darkseid swipes him away. Batman orders the others to get Gog's body as far away as possible. But right at the time, Darkseid takes down Captain Marvel. Green Lantern and Wonder Woman charge at Darkseid but they are smashed into rocks and the two Batmans. Everything seems lost and Darkseid then approaches Gog to get the anti-life equation. But right at the time, David shows up to challenge Darkseid. But the evil ignores that. So David uses his power and kills Gog, turns him into bones and then nothing next. But seeing Gog's death, Darkseid proceeds to leave. He doesn't care for David's victory. Darkseid knows David might have killed Gog. But David is no match for the Lord of Apocalypse. And Darkseid leaves the Earth and its heroes to live for another day. So which part you like the most? Please share them on the comment section down below and please like this video and do subscribe as this will motivate me to make more contents. Thank you so much for watching. Everyone stay safe and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.